All right, here's an odd weather occurrence that's forecast for the next couple days. Uh, we're looking at South America here. Antarctica is off the screen to the bottom. And we're going to watch a storm approach from off the screen to the bottom, and it's going to go north into the South Atlantic. That hardly ever happens. There it comes. It comes up north, and then the model doesn't know what to do with it and just freaks out. And watch it again. So this requires further investigation. Is why would this one low pressure system leave the Antarctic current, the circumpolar current, and decide just to come north into the South Atlantic? Doesn't make much sense. Further investigation. All right, so this is now it's flipped upside down, so you can see Antarctica as it goes around. The culprit is that high pressure system it's stuck there in the passage between South America and Antarctica. That normally is just a continuous loop of low pressure systems because they don't want to ground themselves would be it in Patagonia or over the ice of Antarctica they don't want to ground themselves so they just go through that channel but now there's a high pressure system sitting there and it's causing a backup if you look to the right in the Pacific that storm doesn't make it through and just kind of spins off the Pacific coast you know of, of Chile there and if that comes closer to the coast I'm calling an earthquake watch that's that's the number one uh, trigger of earthquakes in this area is a low pressure sitting off the Pacific coast. But in addition to it blocking that system, it's also throwing the system coming up my way, you know, down towards the equator. You can see it there. Now this, I hope, does not become a regular occurrence, but I'm kind of thinking that this is the wave of the future. And the reason I say that is because the, the current moves this way. To follow the, the mouse here. It goes around and goes around and goes around. But it's only there because that's where the pole is. If the pole goes over there towards that area, it's going to still, it's going to try to stay over water as much as possible. But that tip of Antarctica and the tip of South America there are very porous. So it can just as easily go over either one of those. So if that circumpolar flow shifts towards Australia, it opens up lots of weather changes for South America. Now in the case that it does completely leave Antarctica, it ends up, it would end up circling Australia. So Australia would be the frozen continent. Antarctica would thaw out as the, the circumpolar jet would go that way through Indonesia, through those islands there, and it would, wouldn't be in the Pacific at all, as you see there. None of that would exist. It would all be through the Indian Ocean, around Australia, and the weather in this hemisphere is completely different.